from Petco Park in downtown San Diego. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Diego Padres. John Shelby with you alongside Chris Singleton, and we've got a major league debut on the mound in this one, Chris. And always interesting to see how that goes but I'm sure there's a mix of excitement and nerves running through them right now. Absolutely. Playing your first game in the show, it's just a little different for everyone, but no one walks in unfazed by the moment. I don't care what they say to anybody, and that's especially true as a starting pitcher that's expected to go out there and give your team a quality outing. All eyes will be on him out there on the ball. Should be fun to watch and see how it plays out. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. And a pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Next pitch is outside. Fransky, a big part of the storyline for us today. He's making his debut and hoping to carve out a valuable role in the mound with this ball club. Next offering is in for a strike. At this point, it doesn't matter if you're a first rounder or an undrafted free agent. All that matters once you reach this level is producing. Can you help your team get better? It's a big question. That said, you don't want to put too much pressure on your debut. I hope he's taking time to enjoy this experience today. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Geraldo Perdomo. One out, base is empty. In there at the knees. And the count, one and two. Lifted in the air down the left side. Peterson takes it in for the out. Two away. And now it's Manny Machado. Just off the inside edge. Just missed with that good fastball inside, but it plants a seed in the hitter's mind. He's got to be ready for that pitch, which will open up the outside part of the plate. Swing and a miss. One and two. Got it by him for the K. Padres go down. Back here in San Diego, bottom of the inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Fernando Tatis Jr. Ripped on the ground a second. Slings to first, and they take care of Tatis for the out. And now the shortstop, Hassan Kim. Right through there for a strike. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. No score here in the second. And that is in for a strike. And a count, one and two. And another ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. In the air, left field down the line. Reaching for it, makes the catch. These plays are so risky because of the slide. The last thing you want is to be forced to pop up and go chase the ball down because you missed it. But it feels great when it works. No harm, no foul there. Good eye right there. Two out, space is empty. And a ball evens the count. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Bounced out to short. Gets it to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. And that is the third out of the inning. No runs, no hits. 
as we go to the last of the third. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jerkson Profar. Right hander kicks deals. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. So digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. Foul ball there. The Diamondbacks leading by a run here in the second game of the series. Got him. And there's two down. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Two outs. Foul ball still a one and two count. Swings and misses struck him out. Nine straight retired here to start the game. Ready to go. Bottom four. Up now the Padre leadoff and Xander Bogarts. And there's a foul ball. You know, these Padres, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak time. Oh, gets dirty. Fires to first. And very nicely done for the out. Now the DH for the Padres, Geraldo Perdomo. That one catches the zone, going one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They've really got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Strike two. Oh, well, that's that slope right there. He's doing extremely well. We talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Not even close there. And it's two and two. Kicks and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Tatis waits. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Chopped in the ground. A dive, he's got it. And no throw, he's into first easily. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in. Walker, there's one. Plenty of time at first, that's a double play. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. The first base thing. There's a strike. Cronenworth, multi-time All-Star, 30 years old now, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2015. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count is even two and two. And they'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Fights it off, you'll see another. 2-2 two -two on the way. Oof! That one went straight back and got our ump right in the mask. Let's hope he's okay. On the ground, Suarez throws the first. That takes care of Cronenworth. That's out number three. Bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in for San Diego, jerks in pro fall. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Profar gets a piece there. Go, 
And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One out. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Kyle Higashioka. Inside, just missed. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Chopped out in front of the plate. Sends it to first. Two up, two down. Now batting, now batting Tim Castro. And there's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Bounced up the middle. Rivera gathers and throws to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Xander Bogarts. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball and the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. I got to call NLDS game four here in 2022 at Petco Park where the Padres knocked out their rivals, the L.A. Dodgers. The place was just nuts the entire game. Terrific fan support. Looking to get the tie run on base. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Okay, Singy, I think we can say it's been a successful Major League debut for him on the mound. He's giving this organization and its fans some reasons to be excited about what he can do at this level. I think so, too, Boog. It's always such a good feeling to see someone attack a new challenge and do well at it. And that's what we're witnessing today. Caught him looking for the K. Simply sad. This guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with a mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Suarez throw to first in time. Machado out of the play. Padres go down one, two, three. Three up, three down. Back here at Petco Park. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Fernando Tatis Jr. Well, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. back to work up the middle sneaks through base hit off to a good start with a leadoff down here comes the skipper Kyle Nelson into the game and as relievers go Fransky with his first major league win yeah nicely done I'm sure he'll feel very good about that and get the ball for his trophy case as he should the start he won't ever forget
Dynamax. The final line score for the ballgame tonight. First for the victorious Dynamax.